morning Facebook. Just me again today. We're going to do a little more cardio core. We're going to get you moving, maybe a little jumping. As always, we will have modifications. If you can't jump, just follow along. Bear with me. I'm going to let everyone get on here. In the meantime, tell me where you're working out from today. Comment below. Check in. I'm going to get the computer rolling. Takes me a second here. Let me know if you can hear me. Hi, Chris. If you can see me, if you can see me good here, I'm gonna get the computer going. We missed you this morning, Chris. If I get the computer rolling, then I can see how it looks to you guys just a little bit better. Hi, Jen. My dog's whining, she wants to join. Hi, Sarah. Okay, that looks pretty good. We're gonna start warming, hi Dom. We're gonna start warming up here in just a few minutes. Good. Today, you will not need any equipment, maybe just a mat. I'm gonna actually get this bench out of the way. Okay, comment below, you can hear me, correct? You can see me. I want to know that before we get rolling because I'm by myself. We're going to start warming up. So just follow along with me here. Again today, I'm probably not going to do any time things. You switch when I switch. You don't have to think about reps or time. Just follow along. Okay, we're just reaching down, touching those ankles. You should feel good this morning. If you did by Zoom, you're probably already warmed up. Core cardio, so tons of abs, a lot of moving around, a lot of jumping around. Okay, we're gonna stand up, we're just gonna tap the inside of those ankles, okay? Open up those hips. Still pull that leg high, okay? We want a good stretch here. Who's sore from Dom's jug workout yesterday? I know he said his chest is killing him. If you're just joining, we just started warming up. Tell us where you're working out from. Have your water handy. We're gonna hydrate a lot today. We have 12 exercises. We're gonna go through all of those one time, and then we're gonna repeat for sure twice, depending on time, maybe three times. So we're not gonna do it in sets of three. We're gonna change it up a little bit. 12 exercise circuit. Okay, we're just gonna punch and twist. Rotate those hips. Look at that hand. Get that body ready for action here. Who got outside and got a little sun yesterday? It was amazing. Hopefully today's the same. If you're not in Moorhead or Fargo, let us know where you're at. Okay, we're gonna do a little walk out. I'll show you this view today. So we're gonna keep our legs fairly straight. We're gonna walk out and we're gonna step and we're gonna step and we're gonna walk our hands back. We're gonna do three of those. So those legs stay straight. Step, step, walk those hands back. You can maybe reach up. Let's get one more. Today might not be as long, but we're gonna work hard. And reach. Good. Okay, let's just go wide stance here. We're just gonna shift, just do a little bit of lateral lunges, open up those hips, that groin, those inner thighs. This leg's pretty straight. That other knee is not going over my toe. We should have something special coming for you Friday. Stay tuned. What's tomorrow, I guess? Stay tuned for what that might be. All right, you guys grab a drink. I'm gonna see who's on, make sure it's working. Hey, Carmen, hey, Lucas, hey, Brian. Brian, you're in Australia, aren't you? That's awesome. 
Okay. So I will just follow with me. I'm going to show you three exercises at a time, at a time but we are going to go through all 12. So the first one is going to be crisscross squat. Crisscross squat. If you can't jump, just squat with your toes out. Sumo squats. The second one is going to be a walkthrough. So we're going to go here. My Zoom clients already did this this morning, but I love them. Okay? If you can't do that, you can simply hold the plank and twist. Okay? It's your modification. And the last one on this little threesome is going to be crunch, punch. Now maybe you can't sit all the way up, so it's just here, getting those shoulder blades off the mat. Join me now. Don't count. Just follow me. Here we go. Criss, cross, squat. Okay? Shooting for eight to ten here. Okay? Criss, cross, squat. Sink down into that squat as low as you can that you're comfortable. Again, if you can't jump, you're just doing sumo squats, okay? Couple more, and then we're going right into those walkthroughs. If we can work through three at a time to get through this 12 part circuit without resting, we're gonna get a lot of cardio. Drop those hips, maybe you can touch your toe. It gives you just a little more of a crunch. Again, if you can't do this, twisting planks. Follow me. The whole goal of having a trainer is to be able to walk into a gym and not have to think about what you have to do. They have your best interests, your goals in mind, right? So that's what we're here to do as best as we can from a distance. And switch. Crunch and punch. Okay? Maybe you reach a little bit up towards that ceiling. I'm going to go five each side. If you can't do the full sit up, you're just reaching those shoulder blades off that mat. Okay, I'm going to challenge yourself to get all the way up. Awesome. Okay, you get a tiny break while I show you what we're doing. The next three. So we're gonna go split, split, squat. Split, split, squat. If you can't do that, reverse, reverse, squat, okay? Then the next one is just gonna be a squat knee. Bring that knee way up to your elbow. So I want you to hold your elbows up here. The knee comes with the elbow. It's gonna engage that core. And our third one, we're gonna roll, we're gonna go low, we're gonna roll, we're gonna tuck that knee. We're gonna roll and we're gonna tuck that knee. If you can't do that, you're just gonna open up. Okay, if you can't bring that knee up, you're just gonna open up with those arms. I'm not giving you much rest, let's go. Split, split, squat, join me. I'm jumping. If you can't jump, you are just reverse lunging to a squat. We're going to go for 10, I'm going to count the squats. If you can't even do the reverse lunge to the squat, maybe you're just holding a wall sit during this time. Keep breathing. Couple more. Sink down, don't show yourself in that range of motion. One more. Good. It's going to be hard for me to talk to this one to you guys today. Arms up. Pull. Okay. We're going to go 10 each side. If you want to get a little more cardio, speed it up. Maybe this is a little bit of active recovery. Good. should feel that core pulling your knee. Right? That's what's helping you bring that knee high. Can you get them up to your elbows? That's 
as awesome if you can. So we usually have a topic of the day. I like to talk about something. Not sure I can today. Um, Monday we talk about self-care. Drop down. Today we're going to talk about revisiting those goals. Right? Self-care typically, join me now, typically has some goals in mind, right? Self-care could be getting more sleep, eating more fruits and vegetables, maybe it's eating less fast food or sweets. So that would be a goal. Towards the end of the week, with my clients and myself, we're going five each side here. I like to revisit those goals. Write it down. How are you doing? There's still time to change for the week. How are you doing on those goals? What is hard for you? And what can we do different to get through that weekend, right? The weekends are tough. Sometimes there's pizza, there's drinks. Maybe that's every day now. And we're up. But revisit those goals. Grab a quick drink. We always want to hydrate. See where you're at with those. Write them down. I know on our challenge we're having everyone write stuff down. That seems to be working. Makes you more aware of where you're at. Hi, Janelle. We miss you too. I think you're in Florida. Okay. Split stands, burpees. Not easy. Watch me. I'm going to show you three more exercises. We're going to go burpee. When you come up, you're going to have stand, stay, and step. If you can't do that, you're doing a regular burpee. If you can't do a regular burpee, you're going mountain climbers, okay? And then the next one, touchdown squats. Reach towards those opposite ankle. It's gonna force you down. If you can't do that with the jump, you're just gonna squat and touch, okay? And the third one, we're going longer circuits today. I'm sick of working through those three by threes. So we're just going to switch it up. We're going to go reverse crunches on the mat. So join me now with split stance burpees. If you have questions, put them in the comments. If you can't see me or hear me, let me know. Here we go. So burpee, split stance. I'm standing up. I'm not jumping. I'm just going to stand all the way up. Squeeze my glutes at the top. Pinch. Pinch those glutes. We're going to go five each side. These kind of movements when we're going up and down. Really get that heart rate elevated. So pay attention to that. Remember, I talked about this the other day. We want to work in our safety zone. Not necessarily our comfort zone. We want to push ourselves, but we want to be safe. Here we go. Touchdown squat. Your shoulders are still back. We're using good posture. Our legs, we're squatting to get down to that opposite ankle. Right? Forcing us into that sumo squat a little bit. Toes might be out. Follow along. Don't quit until I quit. Still breathing. One more. Good. Grab your mat. Reverse crunches. Again, I put my hands on my butt. Protect that low back. We're going to kick up and out. When I kick out, my shoulders are coming off the mat. That's pushing my low back into the floor. I don't want an arch back. Okay? Let's go for 10 here. Notice when I'm kicking, I'm also not kicking way behind my head. Okay, that's too easy. Straight up or even out in front of you a little bit. This is a little harder. Maybe this is all you can do. Maybe you're a beginner and you're just starting. Maybe this is your self-care for the week. Exercise. Just pull those knees in and go out. I encourage you to try a couple of the harder moves. We're going to stay on the mat for this last set of three, and then we're going to start all over. I'm sweating. I don't know about you guys. So we're going to go plank, shoulder taps. I'll go this way to start. We're going to go high plank. Square, maybe feet are a little wider. You're just going to tap. 
tap those shoulders. Okay, if it's too hard for you to tap those shoulders, you can tap your hands. Then we're gonna go into a tabletop. So we're gonna be here. We're gonna just go up and we're gonna bring, I'm gonna touch my toe, okay? If you can't do that, it's just a march. We're keeping those hips high, core is working, glutes are fired up. And our very last one is gonna be a wiper. Hands up to the side, nice and easy. We'll bring the pace down a little bit there. We're gonna go five each side, and I'm not letting my legs touch the ground there. I'll show some modifications as we go. All right, shoulder taps. Follow me. I'm going high plank. If you can't, you can certainly go low. Join me now. I have wide feet, keeping a good base. My hips are square to the ground. There's not a lot of rotation going on. Stability. If you can master planks, and there are hundreds of variations of them to make them harder. Maybe throw some weight on your back. Head home. You can start by even doing 10 seconds at a time if you're just beginning. Still breathing. A couple more on each side. This kind of fires up those shoulders. You should feel those. Let's flip into those tabletops. We're gonna go five each side on these tabletops. So I'm gonna be up, and I'm gonna reach toward that opposite toe. But it's my core pulling that knee in, okay? Five each side, trying to keep those hips high. You're, I'm sneaking in a little tricep work there. You maybe don't even feel them, maybe you do. Pull. We'll go one more each side. Like I said, I might lose count. Follow along with me. Wipers on your back. I put my hands out, straight out, relax that neck. Ideally, it would be pretty straight legs, slight knee bend. Let's begin now. Five each side. If you can't do that, tuck your knees and just roll in here. Okay, good rotation. Feel that your core catch you. Your core has to brace you so those legs don't fall to the floor. We're gonna get a break and some, we're gonna hydrate before we start at the top. Like I said, we'll go through this two or three times depending on how long it's taking us. Good. Grab some water, check your comments. Hi Tara, hi Josh, Katie, Peter, Kelly. Let's do it. So if you're just joining, tell us where you're at. We are working through, in sets of three, but we're working through 12 exercises. So we're gonna start over, let's see what time it is. I would love to get through three rounds. I won't keep you forever today. We're gonna go those crisscross jacks, shooting for 10, join me now. Crisscross squat. Okay, light on those feet. If you can't jump, you're just doing a squat. These are tough, you gotta think about what you're doing, right? Which foot were you on? If you missed it, we talked about self care on Monday. Today, we're talking about revisiting those goals. How are you doing with self care? Did you? Accomplish the things you wanted to accomplish? Have you made those changes? Has it been easier? Has it been harder than you thought? Write it down. Keep yourself accountable. I know everyone's at home right now. It can be super hard to get up and push play in the morning. Walkthroughs, here we go. You can kind of keep that foot close to the ground too, but don't touch it down. You'll feel your core activate a little more. We're going five each side. If you want, you can touch your toe for a little more of a crunch. Let's go to the last one here. Good. Crunch and punch. We're going five each side. I'm reaching towards the ceiling. Here's your modification, okay? You're country 
coming straight up, just getting those shoulder blades off the mat. Here's the advanced version. This doesn't need to be done slow, or fast, sorry. You want to let yourself down slow. Let that let core control you. Just like when we press a weight, sometimes the hardest part is controlling it on the way down. Last one. Good. We're going to work through this one faster because we've already demoed everything. We're going split, split, squat, shooting for 10. If you can't jump, you're just doing a reverse lunge squat. Here we go. Split, split, squat. I'm looking for a little depth on the squat. You go where you're com safe, not comfortable. Remember, we want to get out of our comfort zone. Stay in our safety zone. Don't hurt yourself. This is cardio today. If your heart rate's a little high, maybe just take you know, 15, 20 seconds off. That's okay. Join right back in when you can. If you notice some of these are not hunched over looking at the floor. In fact, I would like you to look up a little bit. Keep those shoulder blades pinched. Last one. Good. Bring it down. This is tough. Good job, you guys. We're going to squat. Pull that knee up. Pull. You should feel those hip flexors burning. The modification would be just drive those knees and forget the squat. We're going to go 10 squats. That heart rate should be elevated by now. Hopefully you grab some water. One more. Good. Oblique plank, knee tuck. Okay, little plank. I'm gonna twist and I'm gonna crunch that knee. If you can't do that, maybe you're just twisting, okay? Here's the advance. If you can't, you're just twisting that arm open. We're going to go five each side. You should be joining me right away. Don't wait for me to demo. We've already been through this. Last one. Good. Okay, we're doing a lot of total body multi-joint movements. Big calorie burners, most bang for a buck. That heart rate goes really high, and then we'll let it recover. High, and then we let it recover. You'll notice the better shape you get in, that recovery period is shorter. Always take time for water. Okay, now we're doing that standard stance burpee. Join me now. So it's burpee, staggered. You just turn that body to the side a little bit. We're going five each side. If you can't do this, you're gonna go all regular burpee. If, no, if you're not doing burpees, you're gonna do a mountain climber. Try it though, we're not jumping at the top. We're just kicking those feet out and back as fast as we can. Good. Touchdown squats, here we go. Modification is here. I still want that butt down, shoulders back. If you can jump, please do. I'm gonna breathe for a second. Maybe someone can comment. Someone please comment. What goal that they've done, what self-care activity that they've actually fulfilled this week. Maybe it's reading a book, taking a walk every day, okay? Comment below something you, you accomplished. That might inspire others and switch. Inspire others, maybe give them an idea of something they can do to feel better. Reverse crunches, 
Here we go. I'm going to have my hands under my butt. Protect that low back. Up and out. Ten. These do not need to be done fast. In fact, the slower you do them, the harder they are. Here's your modification. I would love it if you could keep those shoulders off. That really pushes that low back into the floor. Mal, hi Nick. 30 minutes in. One more round. That'll put us perfectly around 40, 45 ish minutes. I'll give you just a little breather. Because once we go, we're going. I haven't seen any goals or things you've accomplished in the comments. Don't be shy. We want to hear. All right, crisscross jacks. Here we go. Squat. If you can't jump, you're simply squatting in place. I'm going to pick up the pace just a little bit. Today is about cardio, getting that heart rate elevated, burning that core. Someone commented, I just can't read it from here. I'm going to guess it was Jen that commented, but we'll see if I'm right. We're getting 10 squats here. If you're doing body weight squats, just keep going on my cue. I'll tell you when to switch. Good. Walk throughs. Here we go. I'm going to reach for my toe every time. Uh -oh. That forces me to pull that leg up, which engages my core. These feel good on my shoulders. I think that's one of my weak spots for, in, for mobility. Okay, this rotation feels good. Just going five each side. These are simple things, even to have your kids do, just to get the whole body 
body integration, as Dom says, working together, right? We play sports, we do activities, we, our body doesn't say switch, crunch, punch. Our body doesn't say, okay, now I'm going to use my bicep, now I'm going to use my quad, okay? In order for us to even move, many, many parts of our body have to work together. And when they don't work together correctly, or if there's things that are turned off, we talk about that glute activation, then we have injuries or pain. And those are things a good trainer should be able to recognize just by watching you walk, okay? They can assess your gait. We're always watching, okay? We want you to feel good. We want you to be strong, we want you to look good, but we want you to feel good. We want you to be able to grab that basket of laundry and not even think about it, not throw it on our back. Daily activities. Okay, split, split, squat. I'm gonna take a peek at that goal. Maybe we can chat about them. There's a couple. Sarah's been taking a walk by herself every day. That really helps. Helps her be calm. She's got two kids at home. Hi, Laurie. Hey, Mal. <laughs> Jen wanted less loaded coffee. She didn't accomplish it. Maybe a little less, she said. Join me. Split, split, squat. We can talk while we work. You guys just get to listen to me. That's amazing for you. Okay, that walk by yourself, Sarah. I'm glad you said that. I have a couple kids at home too. Gets to be a lot, right? Our brains are jumbled by noon for us. Okay, we're doing online school. We're maybe dealing with fighting and siblings. Just get outside, fresh air. Take a deep breath. Just bring yourself back down. Be calm. Maybe it makes you a better parent better spouse. That's awesome. One more. This is hard. Good. Squat, knee, tuck. Maybe you guys are mad at me right now because probably not counting accurately. I actually like it, like it if you're mad at me. That means we're working. Squat, pull the knee. So Jen talked about that loaded coffee. I'm glad you brought that up, Jen. Because I think that's a lot of people, right? We run through Starbucks and get that sugar drink. Maybe try to wean yourself off. Add a little almond milk next time. Pretty soon with a straight up black coffee. That's what I love. You can, you can like it. Trust me. And if you're getting those sugary drinks, you're not getting it for the coffee. Let's be honest here, but we love the sweet. So try to make better choices when you're going through those drive throughs We have oblique, plank, knee tuck. Here we go. I'm going to do the advanced version. If you can't do that, you're just rotating, okay? Just five each side. Your heart rate should be up. These ones on the ground are tricky because you think you're getting a break, and really they're pretty tough, okay? Especially if you're holding those hips high, maybe you're picking up the pace a little bit, one more each side. Good. Small breather. We have burpees and touchdown squats. I like these. I'm gonna try to go a little faster on these this time. Go at your pace, be safe. If you have to do a regular burpee, by all means do it. Otherwise, I'm all timer. Here we go. So burpee. Still squeeze that butt at the top. See, I'm pulling my hips forward, squeezing those glutes. Five each side. Still breathing. One more. Good. Right into those touchdown squats. I'm going to jump. If you can't jump, you're squatting. Feet are wider. Still keeping those shoulders back. 
So those goals we're talking about, write them down. Going into the weekend here, it can be harder, right? It's easy to grab pizza with the family, eat junky food. We, I see a lot of people, they're good all week. They sabotage their nutrition on the weekends. Remember, plan to cheat 10 to 15% of the time, okay? If we're good, 85, even 80% of the time, you're gonna see results, okay? We're human, that's how it is. Some of that other stuff tastes really good. But so does, so do fruits and vegetables. Once you get rid of the junk, that stuff will start to taste sweet. It'll taste good. Reverse crunches. I know with having two little kids, it's all about setting an example, right? It's easy, be easy to reach for that chocolate Easter candy, the high processed sugar. It's just as easy to have a bowl of strawberries cut up in the fridge, right? That's what we pull out. Have that for a snack. Have that with your lunch. They will do what they see you do. So if you have kids at home, just remember that. If, if you don't have enough motivation, I should say self-control, maybe that'll help you. Those little ones are watching. It's not really fair for us to tell them to eat strawberries when we grab chocolate bunny, right? Good. We have one circuit left. Planks. We'll go through a tiny stretch up there. Just kind of let that heart rate come up. We're going high plank, shoulder taps. Join me now. I'm not rocking, I'm stable. If you can't be high, you can go into a low plank on your elbows. If you can't touch those shoulders, you can touch your hands. That neck should be in a neutral position. It's not way up, it's not way down. I hear a lot of complaints about necks getting sore and tight when we do a lot of core because we're holding our shoulders off the mat, we're overhead pressing. Your neck is, to me is part of your trunk. Okay, it needs to be strong. It's gonna hold your head up all day. Good, tabletops. Here we go. I'm gonna touch that toe, pull that knee in. Crunching, pulling those knees in, you should feel that core, triceps. Good. Wiper is our last one, trunk twist, I like to call these. Here's a spot where you can relax that neck. Okay? There's always options. If you can't go pretty straight leg, you can tuck those knees. Looking for that twist and rotation. When we're playing sports, when we're doing daily activities, our core needs to be strong enough to brace that rotation, change directions safely. Right? If, if we can't do that, we can't control our center of gravity or body weight. Injuries happen in athletics. Maybe you pull something in your back. Good. I'm going to check the time. Any comments? We'll go through a couple stretches. Hi, Becca. Hi, Aubrey. Hi, Rachel. Kevin. We're going to go on the mat. Okay. We're going to lay on our stomachs. We're just stretching out here. We're done, we're sweaty. Those three rounds of 12 exercises, great job. We're gonna have our hands on our sides. We're just gonna push up and kind of pull those shoulders back. Mobility is probably my biggest weakness. That should be my self-care goal activity, is to work on that more. I tend to get in there, pump some weights, run, and then I leave this out. So these lives have been great for me with that because I'm forced to warm you guys up and cool you down a little bit. Makes me do it. Now we're gonna go up. 
And we're gonna go into a downward dog. I'm not a yoga master by any means. If you guys need to follow Bridget at Lucent Yoga, she's amazing. Let's take our right leg, put it on our left calf. Now really feel that stretch to that calf and hamstring. And switch sides. We're going to go back on both legs. We're going to bring our right leg up. We're just going to tuck it under. This is a little core, but it should feel good. We're just going to do five. Maybe you have to drop to a knee. That's okay. And do a regular donkey kick. And we're going to switch sides. You should be pushing strong through those shoulders, those hands, but not rotating. Just getting some movement. One more. Okay. Stay here. We're going to bring our left leg forward. And we're just going to hold. So you notice I'm not slouched. I'm strong through my shoulders, trying to look forward slightly. I'm looking at how badly I need to clean my garage. We're going to come back to that downward dog. Step with our right and hold. Watch me from here. We're going to come up into a lateral lunge on that right side. I'm going to put my arm on my knee. I'm still pushing my butt back. This leg is really straight. I'm getting a good stretch for the groin. If this hurts your knee, just come up a little bit. And we're going to switch sides. Feels good. I love this part of it. Kind of enjoy that endorphin rush, that high. Especially cardio it gives me a little rush. I love it. Feel good all day. Come up here. We're going to reach. Just move those arms. Got a couple workouts in. We're ready to start our day. Awesome job, you guys. Remember, revisit your goals. How are you doing? There's still time to change them. Let's go on to the weekend strong will. Strong in our mind. We can do this. It's not that hard. Stay tuned for what? I think we have 11 o'clock with Cody today, but stay tuned for tomorrow. We might do something fun. Get you guys out of the house a little bit. Fresh air. Still practicing social distancing. Have a good Thursday, you guys.